Hey, good morning everybody. So uh, today we're going to talk about my sprinkler system on how I, how I built it, how I designed it for my farm, which is very typical uh, to sprinkler systems in Australia or or America or England or any, any Western country. But uh, I have 350 sprinkler heads on my farm that feed the 750 durian trees. I use one sprinkler head for each tree. So I'm going to pan around and, and, and just zoom in for you guys. But there you go. So I use one sprinkler head and I use a, uh, a wobbler sprinkler head, which is just really easy to keep uh, from getting clogged up or if it stops moving, I can clean them out right easy. So, but I have 350 sprinkler heads and each sprinkler head uh, is about three liters a minute that comes out of it. And I have two zones in the farm. So I have basically 175 sprinkler heads to 175 sprinkler heads. And the way I send the piping out is I do one main through the farm. I, I go on out, I go down the row, I hang a right, that's uh, my middle point, and I use a three inch main. And then off the three inch main, I have one, uh, one and a half inch mains going down each row, feeding the sprinkler heads, which are then tapered down to half inch pipe. So goes from three inch to inch and a half to half inch. And you want to do that just so you can keep your pressure and, and you have adequate equal pressure to each pipe and, uh, and so your sprinklers can, can shoot far enough. Now let's talk about the source. Oh, hey, check. I'm making some fish fertilizer today, check this out. Yeah, she's gonna chop all that fish up and from the local river, we had uh, someone caught for us and we're gonna make some fish emulsion. <laughs> so anyways, <clears throat> so uh, my source of water for my farm is from this well that I had built, or I had dug, sorry, but you don't build a well, but we dug this well. This is down 25 meters, okay? So <clears throat> our water, our water comes, comes from here. But then when I send it back out to the farm, I send it out with my three inch mains. So these, these are my mains right here. This is for the far farm and the near farm. Since we're adding five more rye, this is going to be for the five rye, which is gonna cover this area here. So basically um, each, each section is a five rye section. So I'm able to do basically two acres at a at a time with my, my system. Now let's go inside and see the plumbing, the pump, and my tank. <clears throat> I use, uh, it, I mean, it seems like I'm doing a lot with this one pump, and you're probably thinking it's a big pump. It's not a big pump. I was in the hot tub industry. I used to build hot tubs or spa pools. Guys in Australia and New Zealand like to say. But uh, I used a, a spa pool pump right here. So it's, uh, it's only 2 HP, but it's a Lynx Al 2 HP spa pool pump, hot tub pump. And that's enough to, to do all my sprinkler heads. But of course, I, I break it down. I, I only do you know half at a time, five right at a time, right? But uh, well, let's get into it here. So I pump that water in from my well, and I pump it into here. To my holding tank which I hold fish in also there's my fish food for them but the water comes on in comes through here pumps out goes here I have it drop just so as I could irrigate it and I'll show you guys that I'll show you my pump working here make sure it's all open open that up crank her up so when I'm pumping when I'm pumping my water <clears throat> to to my holding tank if I've got a well, if you have a well, you need to somehow get some oxygen in the water. So do a drop, have it drop. So this here drops and I get some oxidization <clears throat> in the water. <clears throat> now, this tank is two meters deep. It goes a meter below the, the, the ground level here. So it holds a lot of water. I've got 30, it's got the capacity of 30,000 liters, which is more than enough for all my farms. When I do, when I do pump it, okay guys, let me turn this off. Turn that back off so you can hear me. When I do pump it though, okay, it does, it, it, it pulls from the lower part of the tank. The, when you're using a spa pull pump, it doesn't prime, so you gotta have it self-primed. And the, this pipe that it pulls from 
goes to the bottom of the tank, okay? So I gotta fill it up uh, above the airlock, and then once it starts pumping, it'll suck it all the way dry to the bottom, even though that it's, it's below the pump. But it won't lose, as long as it doesn't lose uh, its airlock, okay? Now, uh, if you're gonna be using a sprinkler system, you can also use it to fertilize, and we call that fertilization with your sprinklers. And the way we do that, and it's just similar to a, uh, a spa pool also, is we use a big mozzie injector. Typically in a spa pool, you're going to use this to, uh, you know, to have ozone sucked in, right? But this is on a big scale. This goes to a two-inch pipe. So I come off of my main, I come off my pump, and I split the pipe, one going to one, two, three inch, and then I split up 50% up to my mozzie, because you need adequate, you need adequate flow in order for this to, to draw up. What a mozzie injector does is it'll draw up this fluid. So I'll put liquid fertilizer in there or I'll dissolve fertilizer and make my liquid fertilizer. I can put molasses or whatever. And this will go out into the farm as the farm's wa being watered, I'm fertilizing it at the same time. So this, this is awesome. This is a game changer, to be honest with you. This is a serious game changer having a fertilization system in because I could literally fertilize 750 trees within 30 minutes through the water system okay but you can see here these pipes run back and they meet back together and they go into this three inch and it goes on out to the farm so um, I've got my fertilization system set up I've got my my fish in my tank so I've got two different ways I'm getting fertilizer on my farm every time I water so if you're looking to set up a system like this I suggest um, definitely doing something similar the fish make a big difference that for the health of the tree and um, and having the fertilization system is good too because you can put molasses like I'll use my liquid molasses it's all the stuff that I use guys on my farm but I'll dump liquid molasses in there depending on the time of the year when I'm watering it <clears throat> you know and then I've got uh, I do have fish emulsion that I buy Arthur this is seaweed but I'm making my own fish emulsion so that we can go ahead and dump it in this tank and I can water everything and I can also do a, a spray and then I have some, uh, I have bat manure fertilizer, and I've got it fermenting in that right there. So, <clears throat> fermenting that with some molasses. And I've, I've got some magnesium and, and phosphorus. I've got uh, a lot of different stuff uh, in bulk that I can mix up and put in my farm, depending on what it needs, if it needs zinc or whatever. So, um, this, is, this is good about this system and local farmers don't do that around here they're quite amazed when they see my system but uh yeah that pump that's ball pull pump right that does this whole farm hey look at that lizard it, <laughs> came walking up on him he's just standing right there but yeah that's ball pull pump does all my farm <clears throat> 10 rye but it does it in five rye sections and each each time it runs 175 sprinkler heads so Hey, that's it. That's my that's my system for my farm. And uh, if you're looking, if you've got any questions about the system, go ahead, leave them in the in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to, to help anybody out that's trying to put their own in. So, hope that was helpful. We'll talk to you next time.